Hello everyone, welcome to my studio. It is a pleasure to have you here with me. Let's dive in. I'm sure you know the feeling when you happen upon a work of art that stops you in your tracks. There's something about it that means more. This happened to me recently when I came across a sunset painting by an artist I had never seen before. The colors, lighting, and mood were impeccable. I found a few more paintings by this particular artist and was immediately intrigued by his ability to capture the feel of the scene with simple brilliance. When examined close, the paintings were not detailed and even rather simple. But when stepping back and taking the painting in as a whole, the impact was a type of realism that makes you feel it as if you are there, hearing the buzz of insects, the distant crash of a wave on the beach, or the song of a wakeful nightingale. It reminded me of being a kid. It was like I could feel the cool of the evening. The result for me is an inspiration to practice something I never have before. I'm going to focus on capturing the mood and the feel of the scene without being so concerned about small details. To do this, I'm going to have to practice. Now, we're going to be practicing on these cedar panels here. And these cedar panels are perfect for what we're going to be doing today. I actually prepared them myself. I cut them down to size and primed them with that gesso. And I have a video on how to do that, which I will include in the description box. And you can see this is the panel. The size is roughly seven and a quarter inches by five and a half. After toning the panel, I am going to apply the sketch, which I am sketching based off of a photo that I have on my laptop so I can look at it for reference. And it is actually a painting by the artist that I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this video. I guess you could call this a study painting. It's not one that I am going to really try to take my time on and get perfect, uh, this is something I want to learn from. And I'm making some changes to the composition just to make it my own, but I really want to focus on the color for one thing, but also I really want to focus on the values. I want to focus on the tone of this painting. That is, I believe, how I'm going to achieve that sense of realism in the lighting and the mood that I'm going for. One thing to note here, as I am starting to paint the first layer here, is that I didn't give this panel enough time to dry. So as I was applying these layers of paint, I noticed I was picking up some of that burnt sienna that I had in the sketch. So I, here you can see I'm just wiping some of it back. Uh, but I think that's due to the fact that I'm using a wood panel to paint on. I think canvases dry quicker generally because uh, you got air kind of coming through the back as well as just hitting it from the surface on the front. So definitely something to keep in mind as you are doing your own paintings. Let it dry before starting to paint. Now, if you're like me, you struggle a little bit with the technical terms that we use in art, such as tone or value. But what does somebody really mean when they're talking uh, using these terms? I just want to read some definitions that I found just in case you are wondering what I mean by focusing on the tone and the values in this painting. So 
value refers to the relative lightness or darkness of color. The highest value will be white, and the lowest value will be black. And tone is the intensity and strength of colors in a piece of art. The reason that I want to focus on the tone and the values in this painting is because that's how I believe I'm going to achieve that sense of realism in the lighting and the mood that I'm after. I think that it's all going to come down to, in the end, those two basic elements. So as I'm doing this practice painting, I am really shifting my focus from detail and shape to tone and color. That is the way that I normally paint. I focus on details, I think a lot, and I focus on uh, the shape and the composition, but I really want to shift my mindset painting and just primarily practice and focus on the tone and the value, which is basically the relationships of the lights and the darks and color. Now, after I finished the painting with its first layer of paint complete, I took a photo of it and went onto my computer and began to analyze it digitally. And here is the picture. And as I compared it to my reference photo, I realized that the foreground was not nearly dark enough. So I started to edit the photo digitally and I made the foreground darker. I also realized that there wasn't enough contrast with the cloud and the sky, so I darkened the sky, and I just began to tweak the image digitally until I found out kind of what it was lacking, and I was able to do some learning on what was needed to complete the painting. So then what I did is I went back to the drawing board after the weekend and had let the painting totally dry, and I was able to practice something that I have never done in oil paints before, and that is glazing. So basically, after looking up and doing some research on glazing, I found out it wasn't as hard as I thought it was, and basically what I did was I took some linseed oil and mixed just a little bit of paint into the linseed oil, and used that to do a, just like it sounds, a glaze, like a wash over the dry painting. And what it did is it changed the color and I was able to change the value as well of the painting. So that was really helpful. I think that is going to be a key for doing the type of painting that I want to do. So we'll probably get some more into that but as you can see with the painting, I also needed to lower the horizon line to get that perspective. That really was just a compositional issue that I wanted to change, so that is what I did. And as you can see, I am darkening the foreground. The, the key is, as I have been talking about, is getting the value and the tone right. I think in my paintings, I have a tendency to shy away from contrast, and I think that's just my personality coming out in the painting. Because I'm a very cautious painter. I get very precious with my paintings, and before I know it, I am getting bogged back down in the details and losing my focus for this practice painting. So. I really have to fight that urge to get bogged down in details and I have to just keep reminding myself to loosen up my brush strokes and just focus on the lighting, just focus on all these things that we've been talking about to achieve the mood and the feel that I want to achieve. Did I achieve that in this painting? Well. Not exactly, but it's a good start, and we're gonna keep trying. That wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Don't forget to leave a like, and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, God bless you guys. We'll see you later.